What is going on guys? Right here playing, nope, I'm not playing anything. Damn it, I do that every time. Right here addressing a few things that are just going on in the next week or like past week and then I'm um, also addressing a few things that people said in my last, like my tattoo reveal video where they said I had a freaking uh, horse dildo in the corner of the room. I gotta, I gotta address that really quick before that turns into a joke that catches on and then eventually it'll get to Enthalmia and he'll just say it every day for a year and he just beats jokes to death. So I just, I can't even, can't even let it get out there. I gotta, gotta nip that in the bud right away. So first things first, first things, first thing before that first thing is um, I do apologize for this camera. I do, I have like ordered a new camera. I have one of the best cameras already, but I'm like rendering it or exporting it incorrectly or some shit like that. I don't know. It's, it's video making is a lot more political than you think it is. It's like, it's, it's actually crazy, but, um, but yeah, there's a better one in the mail. So don't worry. I'll look clearer in the future, but, um, okay. So one, the main thing I got to apologize to everybody, all my arc modded survival fans out there who have noticed that the freaking series has gotten skimped like crazy in the past few days. It's because, um, I'm in England. I should be in England or Scotland right now. I'm not sure how that times out. Basically, I just am like away for almost a week in them um, and when I, I had to stockpile videos to get ahead to, to you know, freaking post them when I'm out of town and not, don't have a chance to record. And it's just if I stockpile ARK modded survival videos, they always come out so like just bland, generic, just stuff that I could do and then post weeks later where it doesn't even matter because it's not like new or exciting or crazy stuff. So um, just in an effort to kind of preserve the series and keep it awesome, I decided I would just take a few day break off that until I get back in town. So don't worry, that'll be like, and I get back right at the end of August and then I'll continue it. So don't worry about that. But yeah, for those of you who have been um, seriously concerned as to where the survival series is. But um, but yeah, so take note on that too. I'm actually in, I, I'm in England and Scotland. I'm coming out here for about like five, six days for Insomniac 58. Which is a shame too, because I have to go see like a few friends, some people I haven't seen in forever, so I'm actually not even getting like that much time at Insomni. I'm just gonna swing by really quick, so um so that part kinda sucks. But the rest of it'll be cool because I am still gonna see England and Scotland and go out there with some friends. It's it's gonna be sweet. And then I just know once I get back, because it's for almost a week I'm gone. Once I get back, I'm gonna be so freaking eager to upload it, it's gonna be killing me. So definitely expect some survival series when I get back. Now addressing the elephant in the room, the, the figurative elephant actually. It was the freaking giant thing over there when I was doing my tattoo video that everyone just kind of said was a horse dildo. I'll admit it kind of, it did look like that's, that's what I would figure it would be too because it's as giant dildo shape. What else would, what else would possibly be able to take that? You know, it's, it's, besides arcade, that is a rarity right there. What you were actually seeing was this thing, this giant horse dildo. No, <laughs> it's like an Indian clubbing device. I'm not sure where it actually like where like the actual base of its creation is, but that's what it was called when I ordered it off like Amazon. I actually have, I'm about to go through it right now. I have about five or six weapons here that I've just kind of accumulated over the past maybe a couple of years. It all started when I recorded and posted freaking Dead Island. You play enough Dead Island and it'll make you need to order weapons online. Like you just need to, because you look around in Dead Island and everything is a weapon or is used to craft and add onto a weapon, which I cannot wait for Dead Island too, but um, and then you look around in real life and you'd be fighting zombies with like an old iPad or an Xbox controller and that just sounds, that just sounds like a good way to lose. So then you just kind of stockpile and keep weapons all around you. That or in case anyone ever breaks into your house, which has never happened to me, but damn it, am I ready. There's like, there's a few. I keep, I keep weapons behind my door, by my side, behind my door, downstairs by that door, under the couch, and then one by my shower. I'll go through like most of those right now though because they're pretty sick. And um, I don't know, I'm just ready. So this thing right here, just for those of you who note, it's um you can actually take it off if you're not like an evil bastard. I am, so I'm gonna leave it on. Its basic intention is when it's to swing, and if, if you ever feel the weight of this thing, it actually like it really shifts with with um with the way you swing it. It's a beautiful thing. And when you swing it, this little bit right here is meant to crack the skull, crack a nice little hole in your head right there. As the weight comes pushing down on the freaking skull opening, and it just bursts the whole thing open like like a vagina with an M80 or something like that. Something not as terrifying to picture. Luckily it's very late and I kind of slurred my words together so it kind of sounded like gibberish, which is for the best because I think I have family right outside my door that I don't want to say exploding vagina talk with. So yeah, this is this is the weapon I keep right behind my door because um, I don't know. It just seems <laughs> like I got lost into it for a second, like zoned out. It just seems pretty cool, like you break in, someone breaks into a house, they're looking to steal things or kill somebody, they do not expect this to come crushing down on their skull, That's and that's where I get all my fun from, as far as this goes. 
See, funny enough, I obviously, if a lot of my weapon knowledge is based off of Dead Island, of course a lot of it's based off movies too. And something that always gets me is when they break into a house or something and someone's taking a dump or they're in the shower, they're brushing their teeth, they're butt naked in the bathroom, and they're just defenseless. They just get slaughtered because they, they, were, no, they were not prepared at all. Well, that's where I step in. I keep this bad boy hanging behind my bathroom door. If I'm ever in the shower and someone breaks in, then they're, they're gonna have to deal with me with a towel on just wielding this bad boy right here, which is <laughs> this is like, it's the freaking thickest, sharpest thing in the world. It's already stabbed completely through its sheath. So it's like, it's just ready to destroy people. I'd be, I'd be so ready. Just, I'd be butt naked. Just careful what you swing at because you don't want to lose your manhood in a vicious sword fight. But honestly, this, this right here is the intruder remover. And the best part is, they would open the bathroom door expecting me to be like, No, stop, don't do anything. Little do they know, I'd be like, freaking Leonidas, just ready to... <laughs> just ready to end some lives, I don't know. You can thank Dead Island for this. And careful if you ever break into a house out there and someone's in the shower. That you never know if they think like a damn psycho and are specifically prepared for that very moment. <laughs> there are people like that out there, believe it or not. Now, this bad boy I actually got when I was a kid. This doesn't even count as like my recent arsenal development. This is more... And yes, of course, I'm not mentioning any firearms, airsoft guns, BB guns, paintball guns, nothing. Because I'm not chancing some crazy ass SWAT team bursting through my door like it happens to other YouTubers. I have a dog, and dogs often get shot in the line of fire. Because like, he's a big ass German Shepherd who will bark at them and growl. He'll get blown away. It's not gonna happen. So those are staying off camera. Way to get weirdly off topic there, guys. This right here is my samurai sword, which is like a legit samurai sword. See how short it is and everything? It's like made for, you know, I'm pretty sure it's the one you do all that fancy shiz with. Basically, I have an uncle who lives in Japan. He's lived there for like the past 20 years. And I was visiting him maybe like 19, 18 years ago. I don't know. I was like, I was like maybe five, six years old. I was with my mom. And this story, by the way, it seems very different in hindsight. When you tell it, my mom retold it to me like a year ago. And now it's like, I just look at it so differently. Because it sounds like we just straight up took a murder tool. But basically, we were walking around Japan one day, just like sightseeing while my uncle was at work. And this random guy comes up to us and just asks us if we wanted a freaking samurai sword. Like, to take back to America with us. And we're like, oh my god, yes, thank you, that's so nice. Like, what an awesome freaking souvenir right there. Little, it just sounds like obviously everything went fine. We got home, everything was cool. Now I have it here as an adult. But it sounds like he handed us a murder weapon and just got away straight up so clean. Like... The weapon isn't even disposed of in Japan. It's straight up in America now. They would never expect it. They never expect and like we were the when we were there, we were like the only white people for like miles. Because like, you could tell because my mom had blonde hair. I had blonde hair too when I was a kid, and it was just waves of black hair. So you would never expect us to have a samurai murder weapon. It was genius. <laughs> even my uncle has black hair, so it was like literally just us. So that's that. Now we'll get into this thing right here. Now this is like my go-to weapon. I keep that. I keep the samurai sword by my closet. I keep the bludgeoning tool by my freaking door. This sucker stays within an arm's length of me when I'm recording though. It stays right, right down here by my desktop. And what it is, is a freaking Viking machete. Extremely sharp. It's not, it's like sharp on the point, but not insanely sharp like the bathroom sword. But the freaking cut right here is like, oh my god, that would, I feel like I could peel off layers of my hand right now by just touching it. Now this thing's awesome, because if anyone ever breaks it, like there's, you could, see how it's curved right there? It's like a mini scythe, or, or bigger scythe. I'm not sure the average scythe on a, or the blade size on a scythe. But it's just, specifically, you can feel it when you're holding it, made for leg sweeping. It just curves right up perfectly, it would just remove someone's ankle in the most clean, sweeping fashion. And I feel the same way as for removing other ligaments, like arms, even a head. Look at that, I don't want to get weird, I don't want to weird you guys out, I'll put my hand there, but it could like really, I don't know. <laughs> Again, all of these, most of these at least, were bought with the intention of Dead Island being a possibility. And if that ever <laughs> I was like, dude, if zombies ever happen, I'm not, I'm not messing around. I'm not going to be one of those idiots using some average house item, just hitting them with. I'll be that guy using my like freaking tennis plaque to hit him. Like, no, I'm going gonna be, I'm gonna to be prepared. Obviously, zombies might never happen. There's like a 100% chance they won't. Even if they did... They're like, they're rotting flesh. They would, they would dissolve and rot away in the sun. They wouldn't make it a week's time unless it was some sort of like biological thing like 28 weeks later. Or I don't know, man. There's, there's a lot of ways that could go weird. But <laughs> all I know is if anything ever does happen, it is, you know, it's better to, um, to have a weapon and not need it than need a weapon and not have it. 
Exactly. Because one day someone's going to break in while I'm recording and I'm going to go straight up Samurai Jack on their ass. <laughs> I got torture tools. They'd be like, this guy, he does YouTube. He does, he's not prepared at all. Here, little do they know, I'm in here just ready. You're butt naked in my bathroom with a sword ready to free. <laughs> okay, now this one was kind of a ridiculous purchase, but good golly is it awesome it's like um it, it's just it's a freaking deadpool back sword like back attachment so you just put your arms through this and you legit just have deadpool swords on your freaking back and it actually doesn't fit, it's it would just it basically just looks like this and it doesn't actually fit me because i need to i need to take in the straps like two inches on each side but as you can see it's a pretty damn it's a pretty damn awesome thing to have until i adjust the straps like unfortunately i just put it behind my door because it fits perfectly on my door and if anyone ever came in this is more what I imagine would be like if, um, look how sexy that is. See, if, um, anyone ever broke in and I was in a fun, playful mood, if I didn't want to just kill him with a straightforward bludgeoning weapon, I wanted to have a little fun with him first. This was, this would be how I'd, how I'd do things. As you can see, it's freaking very, very sweet, very realistic. The only thing I'd even change on them, actually, I don't know, that's pretty good too. It's pretty sturdy. They're actually... See, it might be cleaning like crazy in the microphone, so I'm gonna be careful doing that now. I just wanted to show you guys that they are actually, in fact, metal and very freaking sharp. Like, this would be, this would just be hilarious. Imagine breaking into a house and someone's just sitting there with Deadpool swords. Like, I've been waiting for this shit for weeks. <laughs> so yeah, these would be my favorite to use on zombies, for sure. Anyone comes at me zombies, you got, you got one swing and then you got your backup swing right here. You're not failing that. You will win, and then you just freaking stab yourself to death by putting them back in. That's that's not something I'm gonna do right now. Especially not sitting down when the thing's not even on my back. I would just stab me for no reason. So yeah, let that be a little window into my life. Now you guys know a little bit more about me. I'm the kind of weirdo who stockpiles weapon. It looks like the video just froze there for a second, but... Anyway, it's not that I stockpile weaponry. It's that I play way too many zombie games and watch way too many horror movies, and I'm convinced I need defense, but... <laughs> But boy golly am I defended. Just about every room in my house, I am just so freaking ready. It's just me, German Shepherd, and weapons. He's a sweetheart though, so I gotta be extra crazy. Alright, so yeah, I hope that wraps up everything or just kind of freaking helps summarize where I've been for the past like week or why I've been like way spotty with replying. Dude, the video is freezing now. It better not be freezing in the freaking editing. Why I've been way spotty with replying, it's because I'm in Europe. Why Arc Modded Survival's been delaying, it's because I didn't want to stockpile those like a week before, because then they would be lame and it would just disgrace the series. We gotta, well, it's gotta be cool and fresh. So I'll just wait until I get back. And yeah, what would happen if anyone ever broke in or if zombies ever happened while I was freaking recording? I would, I would, I would do that. I would do that exact move. <laughs> Alright guys, if you had a good time, smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace!